everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. I've got a fun little treat bag for you. It's like a little beach bag, and I'm using the Seaside Bay bundle. This is in our current spring catalog, carrying over into our annual catalog, but I am pairing it with a whole bunch of new things that I can't wait to show you. First off, I wanna show you just a couple of the blues that I'm using. We've got some beautiful new blues in our color family. Boho blue is um, one of our in colors, and Misty Moonlight is one of our new core colors, and of course, paired with Night of Navy. Um, these colors will be available May 2nd. Well, these two. Night of Navy, of course, is already available. Now, the reason why I'm using that color scheme is because I'm using some new um, designer series paper from our new annual catalog. This this is called Countryside In Designer Series Paper. And if you are a blue fan, you will love this paper. Each side, one side has a, a kind of a busy floral, kind of reminds me of like wallpaper um, pattern. And this one even has little bunnies on it. And then the other, the other side uses monochromatic patterns, which I really like. Um, but any of these, ooh, look at that one. Any of these can be used for your little beach bag. And of course, any of these can be used for anything that you like. All right, so I use the stripes on our bag for this one. I'm gonna use a different pattern. I'm gonna use a lighter pattern this time. This one um, also includes, I think, balmy blue in the background. All right, well, let's make our bag. And the first thing I wanna recommend to you when you're making this is to use tear and tape. Tear and tape, really, this makes it easy. You also are gonna wanna use liquid glue, which I'll show you. I'm gonna use liquid glue just on one part of it. All right, the base of our box is Misty Moonlight, or the base of our bag is a box that is Misty Moonlight. And it is four and a fourth by three. And you're gonna score it at half an inch on all four sides. I always have trouble getting that half inch there with my finger in the way. There we go, all right, so half inch, all four sides. Now this, this box that's going on the inside is not gonna be seen at all. So don't worry, it does not need to be real perfect, okay? Um, usually I cut away corners and all that so that nothing sticks out, but we don't need to worry about that. This is just our base. So snip the score lines like that on the short sides. Now you can use, um, Tear and tape here if you'd like, but I just find it easier to use liquid glue on this part, just because it, they're small. All right, now take those and tuck them in behind the sides. And I keep some clothespins on my craft desk to hold things in place while I'm waiting for them to glue. These are little mini clothespins. Okay, so tuck those in and pull that side up like that. Let's get those clothespins. You wanna make sure those edges are even. Okay, come on. Not wanting to behave. One more and we'll put that there. Now, of course, if you use tear and tape on this part, you don't need the clothespins. All right, now you're gonna need several pieces, long pieces. This is a piece of that new designer series paper that is three and a fourth by 11. All right, and I'm gonna take my tear and tape and run it down one long end, okay? On the opposite side, on the side that you don't want to show. And then I'm also gonna put it right here on one of the short sides. Now you're gonna need two half inch by 11 inch pieces of Misty Moonlight. See how perfectly this tear and tape is? It just fits perfectly. Okay, and get your tear and tape on there like that. I probably needed to go just a little bit further. Let's add a little piece right there because my ends pop up sometimes if I don't. All right, now you're also going to need two three and an eight by six inch pieces. These will be the handles, but we're not gonna put adhesive on those yet. All right, if you've given your box enough time to dry, hopefully I have, you can take those clothespins off. And we're gonna remove this adhesive 
And we're gonna carefully wrap this around our box. Your take your pick tool or your scissors will help you do that. Now, this is the, the last end that we're gonna stick. So start with the other end. And I like to start right in the middle of the longer side, okay? And match that bottom edge. This whole time as you wrap, you wanna match that bottom edge. Hopefully I'm doing this so you guys can see it. All right, and push that in. And don't be afraid to pull it back up if you get it kind of crooked, because if it tears that little lip of the box, it's okay, nobody's gonna see it anyway. All right, so push that down as you go. Now you could do this with liquid glue, but I think it would be a little more difficult. You'd really have to kind of hold things in place. All right, so now once you have that, we, remember we put adhesive here, so now we're just gonna take that and adhere it. All right, so then you can just kind of run your finger, make sure everything is stuck down really well. Easy peasy. Now these pieces are our trim on our little beach bag. And you wanna start them exactly where you started the other paper. And they will meet up in the right, same, exact same place, because they're the same size. Now carefully go around that edge, getting right there on the edge. Pinch those corners, make them do what you want them to do. And then, look, perfectly matches up. Okay, run your finger, get that adhesive to sit there. All right, and then we will take this one, pull this one off. Let me get that little one on the end. Oh, goodness. Well, <laughs> you know what? We'll just start with that side. All right, now again, match that top edge. All the way around, go slow so that you stay equal to that little edge. All right, and there you go. I mean, look, so cute. By the way, I put saltwater taffy in mine and it held quite a bit. So if you're gonna do these for party favors, you're gonna need quite a bit of saltwater taffy. You could put anything in there really, um, but that's what I used. Okay, now, I'm going to bring back the clothespins, and again, I'm going to use liquid glue here. In the climate where I live, I find that liquid glue is stronger than um, the tearing tape. I can tell that we're real humid here today, and these ends are starting to pop off, but my um, handles are not. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue on each end, and you're going to have to kind of finagle, tell the paper who's boss, clip that on. Okay, bring that one over. Hopefully I didn't get adhesive there on the back side. Whoa, now, now, behave paper. Okay, now we'll do that. We'll do those over here. Um, take your bone folder, I don't think I mentioned that, and kind of curve it. That way it knows which direction you want it to go. So it will kind of bend to your will. <laughs> All right, this one we'll put right here. Yeah, I need to put a little bit of glue there too, don't I? Let's add a little bit right there. Oops, I might have put a little bit too much. This is why I am not good with liquid adhesive. I am very messy. So if you're messy too, don't worry about it. I do this as a job and I still am a mess. I was a kindergarten teacher for many years and I always was like, why do you guys make such a mess with your glue? And now I'm like, oh, okay. I, I make a mess with the glue too. <laughs> I think we all do. Okay, so now let's hold those in place like that. There's your beach bag. Now, let's make our tag. I have already cut out the pieces that we need. Um, I cut this beautiful seashell from um, very vanilla. I thought white was just a little too white, if you will. Um, so um, we're using very vanilla and it folds in half and we've got these amazing flat 
backed flat adhesive backed pearls that can go inside. Um, these will be gone May 2nd, so make sure you get them before then so you can put your little pearl in. And then I'm going to stamp my sentiment in pecan pie on the inside of this shell. You are a pearl, rare and precious. All right, let's keep that pecan pie ink there. And we're going to add some sand dots all around the edge using pecan pie ink on our pecan pie stylus shape circlet. And then we'll take some dimensionals and we'll layer all of these up. All right, so put that there. And then take your, your little shell and put it right in the middle. So cute. And now we're gonna tie it onto our box. I'm gonna punch a hole in it right at the top so I can tie it on with some linen thread. All right, hopefully our glue is dry enough. Well, yeah, it's very dry. It's holding on to my clothespins. One thing I wanted to add to this box were some little, they look like, you know, like maybe nail heads on your bag. So get some of your, your um, rustic, rustic dots. And any of these colors will work really and just put them on here so it looks like there's little you know like little nail heads or grommets on your bag <laughs> oh my gosh it's so cute okay now i'm going to tie the tag on with linen thread and i'm going to come around here like this and go around through the top and it's easier to do this when there is something holding your bag, some weight. So let me put that stamp in there. And I will tie this on. With a bow at the top. Okay. And then I just felt like, you know, that's not enough of a bow. Let's bring in some of our new boho blue ribbon. And we'll tie a bow with that. Tighten it up. And grab your mini glue dots. And put that right there, kind of covering up that hole. You've got, whoops, did I not get my glue dot? Feels like I did not get my glue dot. There we go, and you've got two bows right there. All right, and there is your super cute little beach bag. Won't those make cute summer party favors? I really think so. Okay, make sure you click the link here on YouTube, hop over to my blog, grab the free PDF that has all the measurements and the supplies, and check out the other two Seaside Bay projects. Thanks, everybody. Have fun. Bye-bye.